For those of you that are everyday viewers to the channel, stay tuned toward the end of the video. I got a little update on the progress that we made over the last couple of weeks here on the channel. All right. The 2021 Olympics on NBC are dying a painful death. Notice I did not say a slow painful death. That's because ratings for the Olympics are declining at a rapid rate. Traditionally, the Olympics are known for their heartwarming stories. Athletes that are proud to represent their country. Competitors like Carrie Strug or Nancy Kerrigan, who fought through adversity. And in the case of both of those women, they fought through devastating injuries. Hell, Nancy Kerrigan was brutally attacked. Yet, both women fought through that adversity and won the gold medal for America. That used to be what the Olympics was all about. Americans would tune in by the millions, 30, 35, 40 million people in some cases, to watch and support their country. Now contrast all of that with the 2021 Olympics. It has been mired from the beginning by the damn COVID restrictions in Japan. The Japanese government, they have made a high pressure situation even more difficult by refusing to allow friends and family in some cases to enter the country. We have had to witness what I would call treasonous protests from people like Megan Rapino and Gwen Berry, two people who were heavily promoted by the mainstream media as heroes. Two people America is flatly rejecting. This week, NBC was dealt another fatal blow to the ratings by Simone Biles. Simone Biles is one of the most popular Olympians in the country. Up until this week, she had remained controversy-free, for the most part anyway. With Simone Biles deciding to step aside, it has created an even bigger divide and an already divided America. Now, one thing I've noticed, the situation with Simone Biles has kind of been apolitical. And what I mean, there are actually some conservatives who support her decision, while there are other conservatives who are critical of it. Now, as far as the Wokers are concerned, you already know where they stand on Simone Biles. You would be hard-pressed to find a Woker criticize anything done by a minority, especially a minority woman. Now, you guys know where I stand on the Simone Biles situation and mental health in general, so I'm not going to go into it again. Before the Olympics began, I told you guys NBC was in trouble. Not only because of the record low ratings I expected them to draw, I told you NBC was going to be in trouble with their advertisers, their sponsors. We've added a lot of new subscribers since I talked about this last week, so I'm going to explain it again. When television networks sell ad time to advertisers, they guarantee them a certain audience. For example, NBC might sell a 30-second spot during the Olympics and guarantee an audience between 20 and 25 million for that ad. If NBC doesn't hit that guaranteed audience number, they have to offer the advertiser what's called a make good, which means they have to give them free advertising time in the future. Basically, they don't want to do that, especially when it comes to an event that usually draws an audience that the Olympics does. Think about it. What other event in the country draws an olympic size audience? Can't say the NBA Finals. They drew under 10 million this year. NBC doesn't broadcast the NBA Finals anyway. The only event really is the Super Bowl, which NBC does broadcast sometimes. But my point is, more than likely, NBC would have to offer free ad time across several programs to make up for the declining audience for the Olympics. It's being reported that advertisers for the Olympics are anxious with the sagging ratings. Variety actually called it advertiser anxiety. And who the hell can blame them? The Olympics opened last weekend with the lowest ratings in 33 years. That number continued to decline on Monday. Primetime coverage Monday on NBC averaged 14.7 million viewers. That is a drop of nearly 50% from the 2016 games in Rio. What makes matters worse? NBC is not reaching the 18 to 49 demo, which is the demographic advertisers covet. One advertising executive told Variety that the early ratings for the Olympics are clear are not clearly what NBC wants, and they're not what advertisers are looking for. Translation. NBC and the Olympics 
are not delivering on the promised ratings. Advertisers spent an estimated $1.2 billion on the Olympics this year. In return, they are being given a ratings dud. No one is watching. And no one is watching because the International Olympic Committee made the same mistake the NBA did. The same mistake the NFL is making right now. They gave in to the woke agenda. If the IOC just would have stood their ground, enforced Rule 50, and not allowed political demonstrations, I believe the ratings would be substantially higher for the Olympics. Yes, if they had done that, they would have gotten pressure from the mainstream media. People like Megan Rapino would have victimized themselves and claimed that they were being silenced by the Olympic Committee. The IOC would have caught hell for doing it, but it would have only been temporary. Once the Olympics started and the ratings came in, the Wokers would have faded into the background. Instead, the IOC caved. And now you have no one watching the Olympics from either side. The far left won't watch because the Olympics aren't political enough. They still feel they're being silenced because they can't demonstrate whenever the hell they feel like it. And the patriotic Americans, the people with common sense, they aren't watching because the Olympics are too political. The damn media continues to promote athletes that the majority of the public doesn't want to see. We talked about Elena Smith earlier and how the media is championing her as some type of hero. Well, let me correct that statement. You must use the proper pronoun, KC. Please practice inclusion. We don't want to offend anyone. With Elena Smith, I should have said the media is championing them as some type of hero. This has been a trend throughout. The media continues to push people like this. They literally shove it down our throats and people just close their mouth. No thanks, I'll pass. The Olympics have been a nonstop embarrassment for America. The rest of the world's laughing at us. Name another country that has had as much controversy as we have. We're showing the world that we can't get along even at an event that is supposed to bring everyone together. You have a portion of the population that gets offended by anything red, white, and blue. Don't fly an American flag around them. They'll go into cardiac arrest. They see an Olympian wearing American colors on TV. They change the channel. The people that love the country, they turn on NBC and see Megan Rapino and the women's soccer team kneeling in the middle of a soccer field like they're on fire and getting ready to stop, drop, and roll. Or Gwen Berry disrespecting the national anthem. People see that, they change the channel. And what makes it even worse, NBC and the rest of the media promote this anti-American garbage and refuse to promote anyone who represent the country well. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. We'll continue to cover the ratings for the Olympics, but I have a lot more coming your way this weekend. We might get into the Cole Beasley, Keith Olbermann story tomorrow. I got a lot I want to get to, but there's been so much breaking news this week. It's been tough to get to everything. Also, one more thing before we close out. I want to thank you guys again. I haven't been checking analytics as much as I should or as much as I usually do. I've been really busy this week, and it's been a grind just to get the videos up to you guys every day. I actually had to get up the other morning at 5 o'clock and record one just to get it uploaded. And, <laughs> I mean, that was tough, recording a video with, you know, eye boogers in your eyes. But I checked the views and subscriber numbers this morning. And again, both have increased dramatically. It was just a week or two ago that we broke 3,000 subscribers. This morning, we were close to 3,500. I appreciate every one of you. I really do. This is literally a grassroots channel. We don't advertise. The growth comes from all of you sharing the content. There are not a lot of channels like this on YouTube. There are a whole lot of channels on YouTube that represent the other side. There's not a lot that talk about what we talk about. And I say this all the time, this is not an agenda-driven channel. I know my take on Simone Biles yesterday, I know some of you probably disagreed with me on it. And others might have understood where I was coming from, but that's okay. It's okay to agree to disagree, we're not always going to agree. But I'm always going to give you my opinion and the truth on whatever we're talking about. Anyway, 
I just wanted to thank you guys again for all the support. As a channel, we are close to averaging 200,000 views per month. Hopefully one day we can get that number up to a million. It's time to let me know your thoughts. Give me your opinion on the ratings for the Olympics declining from opening weekend and advertisers potentially getting free ads on NBC because ratings are so low. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.